Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 update for the 22H2 version that was released by Microsoft to the release preview channel. So right now in the release preview channel in the Windows 11 22H2 version, Microsoft is releasing newer updates than the updates that we have on the beta channel for the Windows 22H2 version. That could be a bit confusing, but I think that the explanation is that Microsoft is going to release other updates to the beta channel and now the release preview channel will for a little while be ahead of the beta channel. So the build that Microsoft released today is the build 22621.169 and this build mainly brings in Windows 11 a few fixes and a few improvements related to the Windows 11 experience of course and the 22H2 version. If you enjoy videos like these please don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. Before continuing with the video a quick message from our video sponsor. This video is sponsored by HitPaw Video Converter. With HitPaw Video Converter, you can convert to and from more than a thousand video and audio formats, download media from 10,000 plus popular websites with a single click, and you even have the ability to apply simple edits to the files such as cut, merge, and more. To start the conversion process, simply select your video or audio file and then select the format you want to convert to. After you select the output location, you can click on the convert button and the conversion process will be done in seconds. Download HitPaw Video Converter from the links in the description today and make sure to use the coupon code for a 30% discount. So in this build, Microsoft added server message block SMB and also support for transport layer security TLS 1.3 in Windows client and server. They also enabled Internet Explorer mode enable safe age as group policy. If you want more information about that, of course, you can check out the article down below in the description. Regarding the camera app, Microsoft fixed an issue that causes take photo button to disappear when you use a common file dialog to open the camera. And they also fixed an issue that prevents devices from receiving an offer from Windows update with the same extension driver when that extension driver is already installed without the base driver. They also fixed an issue that causes install for media creation for Active Directory to fail with the error 2101 jet underscore R callback failed. And they also fixed an issue that occurs when the Active Directory lightweight directory service resets the password for user proxy objects. And the last thing is that they fixed an issue that prevents Microsoft Edge from being available in Windows Sandbox. So this is another update as I've said for the Windows 11 22H2 version in the release preview channel and of course Microsoft is slowly improving this version because it will soon be available in the main release. This was the video for today I hope you liked it if you did don't forget to check out the article down below in the description for more details and also don't forget to leave a like down below and subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from tech base until next time have a nice day.